everybody, Shane with here. Shane Simpson back with here from Guitar Work. Welcome back. Let's have some fun with this one. This is CCR's Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Um, really important song. You know why? Um, it's got three ingredients, or three techniques that I'll call um, wax, walk downs, and chickas. And again, wax, walk downs, and chickas that you can apply to a million different songs. Um, the whack is this guy, which is going to be in our basic strum. Just make sure you're happy with your whack, and there's a little technique in that. Uh, the walk down, characteristic of that chorus, you bet. Were you hearing the bass present, just heading backwards like that, walking down? And the chickas is the fast drum thing, this thing. Mixing that in with everything, and it's, it requires a loose wrist and uh, certain pick, pick techniques. Let's, let's talk about each of those. It's the perfect vehicle for that. So welcome back again. Shane Simpson back here uh, from Guitar at Work. Happy to be here. And I want to thank you for coming back and subscribing and all that happy YouTube stuff that helps me along. Thumbs up have meant a great deal. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to be referring to song sheets the whole time here. Uh, you're used to this. Head to patreon.com slash guitar at work. I've got four sheets here for you. Two of them have the song with the lyrics and all that and chords over top. And then there's two pages of detail that's just definitely going to help you get through this video as I'll be referring to that all the time. I've got it here on my trusty iPad. Um, and uh, I want to thank you for your questions, comments, and all that good stuff. It's been really cool getting to know people and uh, communicating with you. So I appreciate the support. Um, let's leap right in. I want to say in my own defense, when you get to the, um, I'm looking at the details page, and you're going to see the chords listed there. You're seeing an A minor. Uh, you're seeing an F. I'm going to assume you know these. C. There's a G. Now I want to make sure you know that there are, like on the F chord, you could use an F bar chord if you're up to that. It's a little thicker sounding. Or F with a thumb over, F slash C. For, it, for now, I'm just doing it as a regular F, just so it keeps more people involved. It's not, uh, we don't want you struggling with the bar chord in this. This is more about the right hand, this particular song, that I wanted to get to anyway. So uh, if you happen to see a C, or a C slash G, you can, I'll call it a big kid C, you can use that as well. So, but if you're not up to that, just play your regular C as written on the sheet. But I do know it, they would sometimes use fuller chords. I'm just going to the basic garden variety chords. It's not cheating, it's just a good way to get us through to keep us all together at the same place. Um, so there we go on that. So you're looking at the intro. I'll start with the chickas. Chickas are very important and the term is chicka. Chicka describes one and two and three and four. Chicka one and two and three and four. Chicka. It's that quick quick motion you're seeing there. Um, so it's an extra down up. Now on the sheet here, you've got page one of your detail sheet. It's saying intro strum, and then you've got the down up bracketed. That means fast, at least on my charts, it means fast. If it's bracketed, it's happening twice as fast as what came before it or what's gonna come after it. So that A minor, you're seeing down up. Uh, it, now it doesn't sound fast until we know what's coming next. If I go and a one, and two, and three, and four, and let's do that. I'm just sitting on A minor there. Here's an A minor, three, four, and a one, and two, and three, and four. You'll see DU written there, so down, up. Watch out for that, so down, up, one, and two, and three, and four, and let me do it again. Three, four, notice, sorry, it's coming in on the and of four. If I count you in, it's this. Three, four, and up. Three, four, and up. So that's your count in. Let me do it again. One, two, three, four, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and. I'm just gonna do a bunch of those round and round. Now what happens? Bad things happen to good people when we try to go fast with the right hand. To the right hand, speed also usually means volume. You'll want to dig in and hit it harder. You'll want to do quite the opposite. So fight that instinct. Make it nice and light. And a one, and two, and three, and four. And a one, and two. But because it's fast, your right arm's going to want to dig in. The wrist will tighten up. Uh, you'll hit the strings uh, terribly. And the pick will go flying. You'll fall out of your chair. So just look three and four. And a one, and two, and three, and four. And a one. There's no big effort. Three. Four and a one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a one and three and four and a one and two and three and four and that's it. We're gonna do a full play along at the end of this. We'll do a half speed one and then do a full play along. So important to play alongs. People have been telling me they really enjoy them. Um, it's, it's to keep you going, right? It's about building recovery skills. You're gonna miss some things and that's okay, but you just go round and round and round until you can kind of uh, na navigate your way through. So that's the chicka, and you're seeing uh, in the second line of your detail page there, A minor is bracketed, then you get a full bar of A minor. So if I do this, and a one, and two, and three, the F is just normal. Two, and three, and four. Now, at the end of that F bar is a quick C, and it's a chicka. And a one, and two, and three. Then there's a full bar of C as normal. Here comes your G. One, and two, and three, and four, and you're back to C. There's no more chickas in the intro. 
Right. So I know there's that piano and bass thing. We'll talk about that at the end. I've got that written down for you. Um, but let's leave that out. Let's just be the rhythm people, the rhythm guy. And let me do, here's the whole intro coming very slowly. One, two, three, four. And a one, and two, and three. Here's an F coming. One, two, quick C coming. And a one, two, and three. Here's a G coming. No more chickens. Two, three. And here's your C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Good. That was the intro there. Make sure it's all good here. Let's do it again. From the top, gonna count you in. You'll be coming in on the end of four. Here's A minor. One, two, three, four. And a one, and two, and three, and F coming. And one, and two, and it's quick C here. And a one, and two, and three, and four, and a one, and two, and three. And here's your C coming. And a one, and two, and three, and four, and a one, and two, and three, and four. And there we go. So that's your intro that has the chickas. You'll use that in a million songs, in a million songs. And this is a great one. If it's new to you, this is a really great song to get it going. Uh, it doesn't happen often. It happens in the intro, and it certainly is character characteristic of that intro. Um, now, that was uh, Chicka's. Now, Wax. Wax, W-H-A-C-K. Wax, or percussive stroke, uh, more formally called. I'm just going to sit on a C chord here, and you're going to see main strum on your details. Main strum. It's going to be down, up. When you see an X there, that means the wax. I'm going to do this. Down, up, whack. And then up, down, up, whack. There's your bar. Let me do it again. Here's C. Down, up, whack. Up, down, up, whack. Let's do it again. Here's a C. Three, four. Down, up, whack. Up, down, up, whack. Now, what are you doing with the whack? You might wonder, well, what am I hitting it with? Start out just doing this way. Well, I'm gonna take the side of my hand and just silence the strings. Whack. Just a right hand, silence those strings. Don't look for a big, loud whack just yet. Just get on time. You just, just silence the strings on time. It's where the next downstroke would have been, right? So it's in time. It's not willy-nilly. Down, up, wah, up, down, up, wah. That would have been a downstroke there. So it should feel musical. It's not just wherever you want to put it. Um, now to get that big snare sound, once you're feeling good about just resting the hand there, to get the big snare sound, if you touch the side of that hand, side, and then follow through with the pick in the deadened strings, that's how you get the big snare sound. So down, up, and you're chopping through deadened strings. Just like whack. I've still got the C shape here. Whack, 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 whack. And you may have to sit there and literally and get your timing together. So down, up, whack, up, down, up, whack. There it is there. Let me do it again. C, three, four. Down, up, whack, up, down, up, whack. That's important. So you sound like a one man band or one person band, I should say. Uh, uh, you don't have to do it with a drummer there and that because that's where their snare drum is happening So you might be a bit of a, 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 a flam there. So watch out for that But if you're just playing by yourself with other guitar players, it's a wonderful thing to add. Here's a C All oh, those, oh yeah There's a G It really brings it to life, right? For sure so that's the whack, and don't be disappointed if it doesn't come right away, okay? It looks easy, I know, like, ah, come on. I have a bit of a concentration on the big, big fat low E string there, and a lot of the snare sound you're hearing when I do it, I believe, is the string whacking against the frets itself, like that, you're hearing that, so it sounds pretty snary. So we've had chickas, wax, walks, okay, the walk in the, I'm looking at the chorusy bit here, um, your bottom of page one, detail sheet is gonna have uh, the chorus walk down. Um, you're seeing a C chord. First of all, when something's bracketed, again on my sheets, it tells you that it's happening twice as fast as what came before it, right? So here's a C. I'm uh, gonna get the chorus first. C to C slash B, which means C, the B in the bass. And you'll see an X on the low E string and an X on the D string. How do you get that D string X? It's just lean that middle finger over a little bit. It might even be doing it already. It's just killing that string there. So this is always in sequence. You would rarely play a C slash B without playing a C first. So it's um, it's all about context. Here's your C and C slash B to an A minor, garden variety. And here's an A minor seven slash G. And same thing, the A string is X'd out. That guy there, so just lean that ring finger over and hopefully you're killing that A string. It's probably, probably happening without even trying. 
there we go. Um, so that would be, if I just strum it this way, I'm gonna go C3, this is a chorus. Uh, have you ever seen the rain? So C3, 4, C. C, rain. Yeah. The second line of the chorus there, just isolating this bit. Now if you strum it like that, uh, it's gonna work for sure, but you're not really bringing out the integrity of that bass line. So if, once you're comfortable with those chord shapes and the timing and all of that, why not isolate? I'm gonna go bass, up, down, up. That's what your sheet is saying there, bottom of page one, detail sheet, chorus walk down, bass, up, down, up, C slash B, bass, up, down, up, A minor, bass, up, down, up, A minor seven slash G, bass, up, down, up. If we do that in time, bass. I think I blew my bass. Let me do that again. Here's C, three, four. And you can clearly hear the bass going down, right? So a little stepwise motion. Uh, that really brings it to life. Now you will have, you may have to look at this hand to aim. Oh. So you get used to just nailing it. So a nice thing to be able to do. Um, if I take a chorus from the F chord as written there, I want to know if you've ever seen the rain. Here's an F coming, just a normal strum that we've gotten used to is this. Down, whack, up, down. Here's a G. I want to know. Is your walk down. Have you ever seen A minor, the rain, over G. F coming, normal strum, G. I want to know. As you walk down C, have you ever, C slash B, A minor, A minor 7 over G, F coming, G coming down, C on a sunny day. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so those are the components. Nothing else in there, those are the components. We'll get to these after. That intro ending stuff and all the little fills. Um, hey, so you may have to stop tape right there. Just go through those little ideas. Um, try to you know make them a part of your everyday playing. Um, if we run to a slow play along, the um, the song comes in at 116 beats a minute. Just for the sake of this play along, uh, the first bit anyway. I'm going to go down to 96, and then we'll do a full. I'll do half a song uh, with the 96 to slow down, and then I'll do the whole thing at 116. So let me just change this here on the fabulous beat buddy. No affiliation whatsoever, but I sure do like this pedal. I'm on Beat Buddy. A lot of people ask me about the setting. I am using Blues One. Came factory set with this, and it's the same pattern that CCR was using on that. Oh, there. The drummer was doing on the CCR song. So you don't have to do anything really special. This is just a came stock preloaded on my Beat Buddy. Um, so if I do this, I'm going to start with the intro, and I may have to scroll midway, and I'm going to leave out the, uh, the fills just for now, as I said. So let me do this here, and, and join in with me. Here's an A minor coming in the intro. Say, one, two, three, four. F, C, G, and your C. Now, C coming, same thing, C. Someone told me long ago, C again. There's a calm for the storm. G, I know. It's been coming, C, for some time. C again, second verse. When it's over, so they say, C again. It'll rain, sunny day. G coming, I know. G again, shining down, C, like a water. Chorus coming, F here, G, I want to know, walking, C, have you ever seen A minor over G, F and F, G, I want to know, C walking, have you ever seen A minor slash G, F, G coming down, C, sunny day. Okay, 
Yeah, so we should be able to do that. That was at 96, that's 20 beats slower than the actual song. Uh, that's two verses and a chorus, and then things are just gonna repeat, so I'll stop it there on that. But maybe you, if you're having trouble with that, rewind that, rewind that, and try to play along. Again, the beautiful thing about run-throughs like this and play-alongs is uh, you have to get in there and fight for your life. If you miss a chord, something like that, you can't just stop, you have to find your, find your place somehow, some way, and you do get very good at recovery but you have to expose yourself to those scary situations where, oh my God, where are we? I have no idea where we are, uh, but you'll find, you listen for cues, things like that, but I'm also shouting out those chords. I'm gonna go back to 116 here, and 116 beats a minute. And I'm gonna have to scroll midway, or if I can look at this sheet, maybe that would be a better idea, okay. So stick with me, and here's a full run through, okay? I'm gonna shout them out early, watch out for that, shout the chords out a little bit early, complete your four bars, and here we go from the top, right from the intro. One, two, three, pow! Two, F, C, G, and C. Now, first verse here, C. Someone told me, go, C. There's a calm for the storm. G, I know. It's been coming. C, for some time. C again. Second verse. When it's over, so they say. C again. It'll rain. Sunny day. G, I know. Shining down. C, like one. Chorus coming. F here. I want to know, walk and see, have you ever seen rain? F, G, I want to know, walk and again, see, have you ever seen A minor over G, F, and a G, coming down, C, sunny day, letter C, two, next verse, C, yesterday, days before, C again, sun is cold, Rain is hard, G, I know, been that way, C, for all my time, another C coming, now page two here, C, go, till forever, on it goes, still C, through the snow, G coming, I know, it can't stop, C, I wonder, chorus, F here, G, I want to know, Walk it, C. Have you ever seen A minor over G? F, G. I want to know. C walking. Have you ever seen A minor over A? F, G. Coming down. C. Sunny day. Could be another chorus coming. One, two. Last chorus. F, G. I want to know. C. Have you ever seen A minor over G? I want to know, C walking, have you ever seen A minor, F, G, F, C, sunny day, here's your C, yeah, there's going to be a filthy, hey, there we go, so that flew by, because it's moving along, it's only a couple of minutes long, the song, two and a half minutes long, something like that, um, I hope you did okay with that, again, they're flying by, that's what I mean, repeated, repeated attempts, at playing along uh, might might be required and be really really good for you. you want to simulate a jam session or campfire so that when you do get around a campfire it's not the first time you've played with other people and your recovery skills aren't quite up to snuff you know um, now there's a couple of little fills and people will get upset with me if I don't talk about these page two of the detail sheet there you're seeing some tab page two of that detail sheet fill number one is this second fret G string is this thing so what is that in slow motion Second fret G string, we've seen that tabbed out. And then open on the G string. Second fret D string, twice. And then third fret on that low E. And I'm gonna, that squiggly line means to strum a C. Fill number one, slowly. Now just get in there into the actual recording and listen to the, the timing of that, right? So it's this. Often when you're, when you're learning it slowly, as we all have to do, it's like, how does that go again? Like, what's the timing? <laughs> fill number one, there it is. The second fill in that intro, and it happens other places, fill number two is this guy, a little higher. First fret, B string, open B, and then second fret, 
on the G string, G open twice, and C. Again. Yeah, they get to go down an octave from us, so we can't quite reach the exact octave they're in. Uh, with the piano, left hand of the piano and the bass guitar being an octave lower, right? So I go. That was number two. So fills one and fills two, and really good idea. Some required listening, going to critical listening, going to, hey, where is he putting that? Where is he putting that? Um, but you're going to have to break out of your strum. Um, and here it comes, right here. When you break out of your strum in favor of that lead line, remember the bottom falls out, right? There's nobody keeping time for you. So you really want to nail that or maybe invite another guitar player to support you with those chords. Um, hey, so really great guys. Thanks for coming back. And uh, I have so much fun doing this. I really appreciate it. Uh, that was, uh, have you ever seen the rain? Uh, CCR and it's an essential, essential campfire classic. If you have questions, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm always happy to hear from you. And thanks for coming back, subscribing. Thumbs up. It means a great deal to that YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate that. It keeps the lights on here. Um, remember, head to patreon.com slash guitar at work. Grab these sheets. They really do help. There's a ton of other songs there. You can just go scoop them all up as well and follow along with other videos. So it's a good thing to do. And uh, I'll thank you again for coming back. And talk to you soon. Have fun with it. Eh? One, two.